Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's been a long time. We've had a lot's been going on. Um, so I took a little bit of a break from YouTube and that. Um, but we're, we're back at it again. Um, so let, I, today I wanted to show you how to quickly create a nest and utilizing SolidWorks to do all my unfolding and just to be able to quickly pass a model into nesting here with rating. Um, you know, typically what most people are doing is we've got our SolidWorks assembly, we're taking our single part here, breaking it out, creating a flat pattern or a DXF, and then saving it, then passing it to another guy or what have you. Well, there's a bit of a quicker way to do it. So in Radan we have a direct link here and um, it's going to use SolidWorks for all the unfolding in the background there and we can just simply go come into Radan here here's um, where I come to create my nest so this is where I house all my parts that I'm going to be nesting um, these are all my sheets so I can take all these sheets out of here right if I wanted to leave them in there um, but as I bring parts in, it'll populate the sheets. Um, any remnants, if I'm using remnants or remnant tracking. Um, so let, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to come up here and we've got a, a little button here called DTM2, Direct to Manufacturing. And so when I click on this, I have Autodesk installed and SolidWorks installed and you can see I have an option to choose which one I'm using. I'm actually using SolidWorks today. So I'm going to go SolidWorks export and I'm, I can do files and do the files and then save them and then somebody else can grab them and nest them. But if I'm nesting and I have SolidWorks on my computer, I can do it, do it this way, right? Um, because this will only work with SolidWorks installed on the same computer as Radan. So files to project. So I'm going to bring, click that guy there and it's going to pop up a window here, right? And it should be looking for some parts and my SolidWorks there. You can see it's brought my uh, files in. You can see I can do a multiplier. So if I need to build 10 assemblies, I can build, just put 10 in there and import those and it'll update all the part counts correctly, right? So what we're doing what we're doing here is now i can come in here and process this right so if i process that it's going to run through and solidworks will probably pop open here because it's doing the unfolding in the in solidworks and so it's looking at solidworks for the um sheet metal um, information it's looking for when you're unfolding in SolidWorks, it's using your K your K factor and the bend deduction table that you've set up, right? So I don't have to set up a separate database of bending information and that to unfold parts inside of another software. I can just heavily rely on my SolidWorks for that and then just pull my parts into Radan. So this may take a second. I'm actually running on a Surface Pro right so you guys are probably using a, a bit bigger of a computer uh, um, the surface pro does really well i actually like it i like the surface pro i still like my macbook though right so there we go you can see it's populated those parts in here for my nest okay i'm going to have to change material because my solidworks material i didn't have that so that's fine but here we can just simply hit exit so i'm just going to right click on that and i'm going to go edit and i'm going to just change my material i'm just going to change it to something i like and use all the time um 060 hit okay okay so material, my material has changed. We have 060. We've come in here. We've got no sheets because I had the wrong material on my parts. But here I can update the sheets. It loads all the CRS60 ready to go. From here, it's as simple as run the nester. 
so if I click run the nester, um, let's see, yeah, so here it's now running the nest, um, doing all the generating the NC code, doing all the sequencing, probably not a really good nest because I don't have that many parts in a large parts but you get the idea of how it's pulling in parts but remember we're, we're probably about um let's see we're probably less than six minutes in and if you were to unfold every single part in that SolidWorks assembly you're probably looking at six minutes a piece to create a DXF to pass to somebody else or to bring into your nesting engine right so this is just a quicker way so we can um get more production out on the floor uh, get get nest out there so we can keep our lasers running or, or punch equipment hey thank you if you're new to the channel welcome um, if you have any questions leave comments I, I do like to answer the questions or any comments there and feel free to reach out to me everything should be in the in the, in the links below um, have a wonderful day, have a great weekend and a great Friday. See you all out there.